Fourth grade lesson 12.2 is customary units of length. These are the length units that we usually use here in the United States. Our essential question is how can you use models to compare customary units of length? You can use a ruler to measure length. A ruler is one foot long. It shows 12 inches in one foot. A ruler that is three feet long is called a yardstick. There are three feet in one yard. So we don't use a metric system that is a base 10 and everything's a multiple of 10 with each other. We kind of just have to memorize a few things. And then once we memorize those things, it kind of sticks in our head. So how does the size of a foot compare to the size of an inch? They say we can cut out uh, the paper inch tiles. These are not, because it's been zeroed down into a book, these are not quite one inch pieces here. So I went ahead and cut out actual one inch pieces and then I will place those 12 tiles end to end to build a foot and then I could tape them together. They want us to compare the size of one foot to the size of one inch. So here are my one inch tiles all cut out and then I have a ruler here for reference and of course we know the ruler already has 12 inches shown on here. So we know how many are going to line up here but I'll go ahead and do it for the purposes of this so we can prove it. And there they are, all lined up, all 12 of them, making a one foot exactly. So 12 inches equals a foot. So one foot is 12 times as long as one inch. 12 inches makes a foot. So that's one piece of information we'll have to memorize. It's 12 inches equals one foot. And then as mentioned before, three feet equals one yard. Those are two pieces of information we're gonna to wanna to get stuck in our heads. I will get a picture of the three feet put together. And there's a picture of three feet, three feet here, which is 12, 24, 36 inches. You can say 36 inches equals one yard because 12 times three is 36. So three feet is a yard. There's a picture of that with a pencil to be a frame of reference of how long that is. So those are some pieces of measurement in the customary measurement system for length. Okay, keeping in mind that one foot is the same as 12 inches. Emma has four feet of thread and she needs 50 inches of thread. Notice my two different labels here. This is important to notice. Four feet and 50 inches is what she needs two different types of measurements, so we have to do a little bit of adjustment to find out exactly how much she needs in one or the other. She needs 50 inches of thread to make some bracelets. How can she determine if she has enough thread to make the bracelets? Since one foot is 12 times as long as one inch, you can write feet as inches by multiplying the number of feet by 12. So one foot, of course, we know is 12 inches. Two feet, well, two times 12 is 24. So two feet is 24 inches. Three feet, let's multiply 12 times three. Three times two is six, and three times one is three, 36 inches. Four feet, we're gonna do four feet times 12 inches because every foot is 12 inches long. Four times two is eight, four times one is four, that is 48, 48 inches. And if we're looking at five feet, we're gonna do five feet times 12 because every foot is 12 inches long, 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. That is repeated addition, so we use the shortcut for that multiplication, 12 times five, five times two is 10, five times one is five plus one is six, 60 inches. So they want us to compare four feet to 50 inches. Four feet was 48 inches. Five, uh, 50 inches is a little more than four feet, right? It's, um, well, we'll just put 50 there to compare them because we've got to compare them in inches. 50 is more than 48, right? So Emma has four feet of thread and she needs 50 inches. Four feet is less than 50 inches. So Emma does not have enough thread to make the bracelet. She needs two more inches of thread, right? To make that she's only got 48 inches. She needs two more inches of thread. So if she has to buy it in feet, she better buy another foot. She'll have some left over. What if Emma had five feet of thread? Would she have enough thread to make the bracelets? Yeah, she would have uh, enough to make the bracelets, the 50 inches, uh, and then she'd have some left over, yes. 
with 10 inches left over. So this lesson is just about um, working those numbers, recognizing one foot is 12 inches, recognizing that one yard is three feet, and keeping those in mind and getting those memorized will help you be able to get through problems like these. Let's do the share and show and see how this looks. And notice they give us this key over here. For a while, you'll get the key to use because you don't have these memorized yet, but eventually those go away. And you, they assume that in your brain, you have these ones memorized, specifically these two. Compare the size of a yard to the size of a foot. Use the model to help. One yard is three feet. So this is one foot, one foot, one foot, for a total of three feet. One yard is three times as long as one foot. I would, if I needed one yard and I needed, and I had feet, I would do three times feet. Let's talk about this one. Two feet is how many inches? Well, we know that one foot is 12 inches. So two 12 inch sizes is gonna be 24 inches. Three yards is how many feet? Well, we know that one yard is three feet, right? So three yards times three feet equals nine feet. And on this one, what is seven yards in feet? Again, we know that one yard equals three feet. If I have seven of those yards, I will multiply it by the three feet to find out how many feet that is. Seven times three is 21. So it's 21 feet for seven yards. I hope that makes sense to you and you're ready to move forward. If not, uh, if it does, go ahead and go on Think Central. If not, I'll do a few more with you. Okay, how much is four yards in feet? Again, one yard is three feet. And if I have four of those yards, I'll multiply that by the three feet for each yard. Four times three is 12. It is 12 feet. 10 yards is how many feet? So one yard is three feet, but I have 10 of those yards and each of those is, oops, that's supposed to be a T there. Each of those is three feet long. 10 times three is 30 feet. Try this one. Um, we have seven feet equals how many inches? Remember, one foot is 12 inches. So if I have seven feet and each of those feet is 12 inches long, I'll multiply those 12 times seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times one is seven plus one is eight. 84 inches. Which is bigger, one foot? or 13 inches. Well, one foot is 12 inches, so 13 inches is bigger. Which is bigger, two yards or six feet? We've got to convert or change one of these tied things into the other. So I think the two yards might be the easiest one. If you remember that, uh, not two, if you remember that one yard equals three feet, then two yards, with each of them being three feet long, two times three is going to be six feet. So two yards is the same as six feet. And so these are equal, six feet and six feet. What about six feet and 60 inches? Okay, I need to convert or change feet into inches or inches into feet. I think I'll go ahead and go feet into inches. I know, I'm gonna do that one over here. I know that one foot equals 12 inches. I have six of those feet. So I'm gonna, and each of those feet is 12 inches long. So I would be adding that together 12, uh, six times 12 together six times. So 12 times six will get me how many inches that is. Six times two is 12. Six times one is six plus one is seven. This is 72 inches. And now that they are both the same label, I can, um, or the same measurement, I can compare them, 72 and 60. 72 is bigger than 60. Hopefully that practice helped, and if we need more practice, let me know.